Uh, hey, uh, yeah, we, sh we showed some video of this young man uh, doing something special uh, about a week and a half ago down in Boston. Josh Cassidy is here. Uh, I can now call him uh, the world record holder in the wheelchair marathon. That's cool, man. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> you must think that's pretty cool. It's still setting in a little bit. Is that to right? Be honest. Yeah, the wind set in pretty much right away, but then to uh, the world record part, it's uh, yeah, it's still setting in a little bit. Now, you've been working on this for quite some time. It's not your first marathon, right? No, I've done 20-something oh, marathons. 20-something, 20, 20 yeah, yeah. not sure. But you've been working up to this point. Yeah, my first big marathon win was a London Marathon uh, in the UK in 2010, but I've won the Ottawa Marathon here a few times and other marathons across the country, but these ones are, uh, Boston's high profile. Boston's big. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it was the hottest day uh, ever for the Boston Marathon, I think. Yeah, it was uh, about 27 degrees or so, I think. Which That's is, insane. It's, it's hot, yeah. And then in, what, April? Yeah, I'd rather have Early it hot April. than cold, personally. But there you go. Have you have you watched this on TV yet? I've seen it a, a couple times. This yeah. is the final it's stretch, final, right? Yeah, I have no idea if I'm going to get the the record or not. I knew it would be close, but I'm just. Were you shooting for it? Um, in the last 5K, I realized it was possible. I was going for the win, but then when I when I looked down at the clock and realized how close it was, I almost hit the uh, the camera guys there. They were. Did you? Yeah, they were pretty close. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I realized it was going to be close, so I switched it over to the clock, and uh, how, I just went went for it. <laughs> how badly do you want to get out of the chair at this point? <sighs> badly, to, to be honest. Because that's um, not the most comfortable chair, is it? No, and I still have uh, some feeling in my legs, so over 42 kilometers to be in that kneeling position, my legs are tucked under me. It's not really natural, so I'm I'm ready to get out of that get that helmet off so I can uh, breathe a and little bit. And stretch your, your whole body a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Because you... Uh, when you were born, you had uh, cancer in your spine? Yeah, neuroblastoma. It's a very rare type of cancer. Um, yeah. Maybe 100 kids in the world have it at once. So you do still have some feeling in your legs? Yeah, yeah. I still have some feeling, and uh, I can walk a little bit if I'm holding on to stuff. So. Yeah, you can get around but, yeah, if was, you had to. Yeah, I was pretty fortunate. I wasn't, uh, it just it took over quickly, so I wasn't really supposed to make it. So I was really? lucky, yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, I know you did some, we were talking about you and uh, how you did some training here in the wind tunnel. Yeah. Was it the NCR? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I've and been up there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing facility. Um, a lot of the things, uh, you know, in theory, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I'd thought of on my own, and, um, but to actually physically test them and uh, get yeah. some real results, it was pretty cool. Did it make a difference, do you think, like yeah. that sort of testing? and? Yeah, it'll make, even if it's a little bit. Um, because that could have been the two-second difference of beating that world record right there. Um, over 42 kilometers, two seconds for aerodynamic, uh, a couple percent increase. That's 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 two seconds at least there for sure. What are the hardest working upper body muscles when you're doing this? It's really everything because you saw All from the video, and shoulders yeah, and back. yeah, and core because you're stabilizing oh, yeah, and true. it's coming up and down, and so it's it's almost like half of a butterfly stroke. So it's the shoulders, back, chest. It's a bit of everything. I saw, you your hand. Good, I saw you did a good Let workout there hand. this morning. So you don't have big blisters, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> big blisters or anything. Uh, my knuckles and stuff, they get a little bit banged up. My hands but are yeah, getting a little shaky. Gloves on? Yeah, it's more of hitting the wheels. It's not really grabbing them. You want to right? keep the momentum going, so it's a constant... You know, are there punching. little things on the outside of the the wheels? No, it's just like a it's a rubber coated ring, and it's it's very uh, yeah it's uh, some you know precise technique that gets mastered over time. And your seating position, everything is relative. I changed my seating position millimeters, and I notice a difference. Really? Yeah, it's uh, yeah it's pretty cool. So next is uh, London. Uh, London Games. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, uh, quick race Saturday in Montreal, a 10K. Um, it's been a busy two weeks, and then uh, there'll be another uh, month of uh, track season still to go. So it's lots to do. Pretty cool, man. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks for, Thanks for coming me. by. Come Thanks back and see us, would you? I will. Uh, and uh, you know, you'll be setting more records. I think that's the coolest thing ever, nice. especially in Boston. Boston's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a, it's pretty special. Yeah. I love Boston. Anyway, uh, <laughs> off we go to uh, uh, out to Stittsville. Uh, Sarah Freemark's working out at a place called Built by Rowan. Rowan's the trainer. Have more uh, right now, Sarah.